Aloha, it's your boy DJ Boogie Down, and here's a new thing I'm talking about. We're going to talk church. I'm here with a beautiful woman named Tabitha. That's Tabitha. Hi. Anyway, she ain't important right now. The point is, let's talk church. We were just talking about church, and I told her why I don't go to church a lot because, and this is true, and for, for those who are going to hit me back with those hard comments saying, God this and God that, I don't need to hear from you because like me and like some people, you just old people trying to get a coupon in the church. But anyway, here we go. I don't go to church a lot because people always want you to stand up. They want new members to stand up. New members. Okay. First of all, I'm not a member of nothing. Why do you have to be a member? Not a new member. Visitors. Okay. Why do I need to be a visitor or a member to a building to worship God? No, you, you don't have to be. <laughs> okay. Where does it says in the Bible that you have to go to a building to worship God? It doesn't. The church is wherever you make it. Okay. And no one has explained this to me over the years. Why is it that the preacher always drive a better car and have a better house than anybody in the church? Because they're the preacher. Okay, so therefore you're saying that the preacher got to have more cash. I didn't not say that. Cause okay, the point of what she's trying to say is no one has explained to me is that. I say it again. Who not says, all preachers have a better house and better yeah, right. car. I have what? dated a preacher and he had a rundown apartment okay. and lost it. And there you go. <laughs> See my point? She just, I, I didn't even ask her this. No. She dated a preacher. Yeah, I sure did. A preacher that worshiped God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let me see if she's going to tell the truth. Did you have sex with the preacher? Nope. Never had sex with the preacher, just nope. dated him. Nope. And he's a man and he didn't want none of this. No, I didn't say he didn't want it. But I mean, I'm wanting to get to know him from, plus he was a preacher. I'm like, if I get into that, I'm getting into more than just being his girlfriend. Uh, I didn't you, know if I wanted, wanted to deal to with all that of that. Oh God. I don't know if oh, I wanted Jesus. to deal with all of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. no. But the point I'm making is that I say this with pride. You can believe in God without going to a building. You don't have to go I to a... Didn't, we're not talking about... We are talking about every time you go to a, a church, people want you to stand up all the time. They the want you visitors... To, I mean, the preacher wants to recognize the visitors. For what? Because he wants to see a visitor as a potential new member so why does it church. okay why does the preacher always want to and talk about the visitor wants, I, my, my preacher don't always talk about mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. like every that. time I go but to a church ladies and gentlemen very comical so uh huh and then he'll get it back and then he won't like it and he'll go I thank God I think you should leave well, the no building no really says it back to him I know because a lot of people but, are scared to say it back that's why I don't go to church because my, yeah, I have a not into I have a mouth like he is from the hood okay well I am too I am you know I'm from I mean he built that church up that's like good but I say it again what it is most now. most preachers most preachers will want you to stand up and then when you do stand up you sit back down and they slowly try to put you on blast by saying stuff like and, that's whatever preaches mm -hmm, yeah preach. and god says come as you are I've but never had some that people that. come with trembling boots i've never had that and we have people coming trembling joy ass g's i'm like wait but i ain't got no joint ashes on you know yeah. and then coming here bald headed and all looking like the beat up rock i'm like i know this fool ain't talking about me but that's what i go through that's why i don't go to a lot of church to T R Y. You ever heard of T R Y? Try to live a righteous life. Nobody says you have to be. So you don't go to church because whatever churches you've been to, <laughs> whatever churches you've been to, the preachers have made fun of you. That's that's why you don't go to church. But stop it. The point <laughs> that's is why you don't go to church. No, I did not say I don't go to church. I said I don't go to church a lot because people think because once you turn 50 and older you gotta try to get your coupon into heaven have you thank god forgot about all the things you did when you was in your 20s and 30s and 40s so why i try to make up for it now why can't you just be yourself and be happy and believe in god without going to a building there's no word in the bible and of course some nitwit gonna hit the me on my is youtube your, rock. your church can be inside of your apartment right here and that's where actually a lot of churches Start out at right so, inside of a house or apartment. So I can watch church watching TV, like church on TV? Yeah. So when the collection My plate is on TV. So when the collection plate come around, I just throw the money in front of the TV and then pick it back up when it's over with? No, you can pay it online. Pay it online. It's wow. Pay it online. Now, now here's online. the part I don't understand. What am I paying for? What do you mean? What are you paying Why for? do I need to give a money to believe in God? Why do I have to give money to... No, it's no such thing as you have to give money to believe in God. Even in the church, it says tithe 10%. Now, everybody don't tithe 10% and you don't have to even tithe your money. You can tithe your time or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay? But the money that goes to the church, okay, 
is going one for the building. It's also going it's to help. always no, a building fund. No, it's not a building fund. I'm talking about the pay the utilities because my building is paid for. Okay, and, is okay, and for. why can't that preacher pay for it? They, they drive that fancy car out there. I got that fancy house and got those fancy. Why should he pay for it? It's for the church. One, first of all, the church is not for the preacher. The church is for the members. The church is his name is not on the deed. It's not supposed to be. <laughs> because if he died and something happened to him, she just still hasn't explained to why am I paying to serve okay. the Lord? You're not why paying am to I paying? serve the Lord. Okay, the money that you putting back into the church is helping to take care of people in the church. There are people, or even outside of the church, there are people that come to the church, my church. I'm talking about. Okay, they ask for help with utility bills. They ask for help with food. With clothing, whatever. Stop putting that in my face. So if a pimp comes to a church and asks for help with his hose, you know, or... That's not a need. I'm talking about for necessities. It's not a need for a pimp to have help with his hose or his hookers? Not from the church. Okay, and but... And it's not a need because he's not supposed to be doing it. That's illegal. <laughs> So it's not illegal for these. Uh, I better uh, not see this on the internet. So, so this is not. So it's not legal for preachers to take the money out of the church and buy fancy cars and houses the and things. The preachers don't have to take money out of the church, and if they do, they're that's a con preacher. So you're saying that it's it, there. He My just, preacher one, he gets the salary, uh -huh. and at one point he wasn't getting a salary. Uh -huh. He just started getting one a few years ago, uh -huh. and he's been preaching for about forty years. So he okay. just started getting a salary. Plus, we as a church, uh -huh. okay, we give him what's called, stop it. We give him what's called a love offering. Oh, a okay? love offering. All right. And even inside of the church, okay, okay. even in the church. Inside a lot the church? Of time, listen to me. A lot of times he just gives money to people. He just gives them money. So, so therefore you say the church is for to help people and give people and for help, right? So if a midget comes into a church, now listen, if a small person or a midget comes into a church and wants some big ass shoes, would the church give it to him or do he ask? If he, he really wanted, the preacher might pay for it himself, not the church. So do the midget got to be right there in the middle of the pulpit while the preacher just no. standing there and rocking going? No. And, and, and the preacher, and like I said, whatever preachers he talking about are some really crazy preachers because my preacher wouldn't do something like that. Stop that. Okay, cut this off. <laughs> cut anyway, it's your boy DJ Boogie Dow. We talk in church, but once again, let me end it like this. She still has an well, answer. Well, I have why answer. How, he don't I, understand. Why do I have to pay to serve the Lord? You're not paying. Let's get to it serve straight. The Lord. I believe in God till the day I die. I believe that's why she interrupted. I believe in God till the day I die, no matter what. But I refuse to give anybody money to believe in God. Nobody's going to tell me different. It's that simple. You can live a righteous life inside your heart and in your mind. You don't have to give a man or a building no cash. Nobody can ever explain that to me. But until then, it's your boy D. Shea Boogie Dow with Tabitha, Reverend Tabitha. What's the name of your church? Tell everybody, invite everybody to your church. Inspiring Body of Christ Church, IBOC, Pastor Ricky Rush. Pastor Ricky Rush. Pastor Ricky Rush. Rick I B Ricky G. Rush. I-B-I-C? And I-B-O-C. Inspiring Body of Christ. It's a non-denominational church. S say the call letters again. Number I said it. I-B-I-C? No. Well, no, say it again. I-B-O-C. If they in Dallas, they know the church. Trust me, they do. I-B-O-C. I-B-O-C. Okay. Look it up online, look it up on YouTube, look it up on Facebook. It's everywhere. Okay. Mm-hmm.